Hi Danny, thank you again for doing this. No problem. Really appreciate it. Thank you for your comment on Michaela's Instagram post for the Instagram page. It was awesome, we really appreciate that. First question, how are you? I'm doing good, thank you very much. You're good? Mm. Good man, I'm glad. What does mental health mean to you? Well, like I said on the page, it, uh, for me, mine often gets put down to an external factor. So if I'm not feeling good, like if I'm in a really down mood, like really down about myself and I don't want to talk about it or something, it's always put down because I'm a bloke and apparently there's this thing where we can't talk about how we're feeling. So everyone likes to put it on something like that, something that they can confront themselves. Say, oh, well, if we confront this, then all these people are going to open up. But when the reality is, if I'm feeling down about myself, I don't feel like my issues are worth bothering anyone else. So it's one of those things, like, not everything has an external cause. It's sometimes it just has... It's Sometimes it's just what you're feeling. Yeah. And do you talk to people about it? Do you...? Um, occasionally. Uh, I won't talk to a family about it because, uh, you know, it's, it's one of those things that I don't see them on a daily basis, but when I talk to someone like you, uh, Kayla, or Tom, I can just talk to you about it like, like it's nothing. Okay. But I, I don't want to put my family through that. I'm quite similar in that sense. You know, like when mm. if you see, if you'd say that to your mum, or if you said that to anyone, it'd be... I did it all the way through uh, both schools. Like, they didn't realise there was any issues with me like getting bullied or anything through either of my schools until college where they were like oh have you kept in touch with any of your mates from schools and I'd be like no not really why oh because I didn't have any because you know and then they didn't that's when they figured out actually he was getting a hard time it wasn't it was a fun dinner conversation I can tell you that Similar with bereavement as well, which I think that can contribute to people suffering with mental health issues. If it's a family bereavement, often mm. you find lost and don't want to talk to family about it in fear of making them worse, mm. um, which is also something that we're, we're writing about. But I just thought that kind of links in with struggling to speak to family, so friends or yeah. charities such as mine as well. Mm. It's a range of subjects that are covered. The key thing I'd always tell someone is like I don't like the idea of someone not being able to speak out to someone or to talk about it and family and friends are always going to be there aren't they Aye. family especially I've isn't? always felt like I can talk it's yeah. just like I said when you're feeling down and if, especially if it's about yourself you don't feel like it's worth bothering other people for mm. so it's like, I always know that they're there for me but I don't think it's something worth bringing to attention. Even though, like, if someone else were to... It's it's one of those things where you see it in someone else and you're like, oh, well, you know, that's serious. But when you see it in yourself, it's not that big of a deal. Mm -hmm. What does it mean to have a mental illness or to even kind of feel it? Or to... I'd say it's... It's a mixed bag because sometimes... Like it can be like a real low, and then you feel like it's just like everything's a load of rubbish, and you're just really down all the time. But then sometimes you, there's days where just everything's normal, everything's fine. So it's one of those days. Like sometimes you'll you, you like you're unable to predict it as well. So when it happens, you just tend to that you find that your moods change during the day and then like people either pick up on it and they don't and if they pick up on it they think you're in a mood because some uh, like with them sometimes mm -hmm. I've had it where I've been in a session and things have, have not gone wrong but I've been in a mood from like just waking up and then people have took it the wrong way and they think oh he's, he's really annoyed with me mm -hmm. so it, it's it's not the best when it comes to like the social social aspects. What has it taught you, like going through mental health and touching on it? Um, well, it's one of those things, it, it has, like if it was just me that I knew that was going through it, I don't think I would have noticed anything because it's something that's just 
been there, but like with when I see it happening to friends or family even, and they uh, are going through similar things. Like I have a friend who's pretty down on herself all the time, and then I'll be like, I'll I'll tell her the truth, and I'll be like, well, you, there's nothing wrong with you doing all this. It's, um, and then, but then I, I I'd go back through old conversation, and I'd see the exact same thing, but the opposite way around. So I'd be saying all these down things, and it just kind of put into perspective that um, yeah, it's when when you're in a negative space or have one of these issues, it's like you feel like it's you on your own. But and they always say people always say oh people, everyone's there for you, but you don't feel it in a sense like. You understand that people are there for you, but like when you're in one of those moods, um, you you don't feel it until like you see it for yourself, sort of thing. So like for me, it was like finding out that one of my friends had the exact same problems I was having, and then we just we we promised each other that we'd help each other through it. And what is your advice to anyone going through tough times? If you as, just tell someone as super or insignificant as it could be. If it makes you happy, do it. Because, like, I I do stuff all the time where, like, if anyone who knows me ta knows that I don't really take myself seriously, like, that's what I like to do, because I'll just like to joke around. Like, uh, the other time, as immature as it was, we were in a lecture, and the lecturer literally said doo-doo, and I laughed. <laughs> because, like, I just, I just thought it would be funny. And uh, I just found it funny. Uh, so it's just, like, it's one of those things, like, Someone could go, oh, why is he doing that? It's it's a bit daft, that, isn't it? But if you enjoy it, then go ahead and do it. It'll, if it cheers you up, do it. Um, don't forget to actually take it seriously if you are in a bad day. Don't go, all right, well, I have to just power through this. If you need to take a, a day off or just have a day for, you, for yourself, not to yourself, because... Being alone can just make things worse, but do things for yourself that you wouldn't even normally do or that you just know will help out. I guess the last thing I can say is just what can, again, what can other people do to help? Be understanding. Um, just like if, if, someone's, if someone you know is bipolar, for example, like, because sometimes they'll be in a great mood and then all of a sudden drop down terrible mood. Uh, I had a mate in college who had, who was bipolar, and uh, like because we all knew what we'd do is like if he was in a down mood, we wouldn't take it personally, and we'd just be there and we're like, all right, we know he's not going to be too happy like for the rest of the day, because they'd last like ha about a couple of hours, and um, then like what you can do is just that you understand. Don't try and go too far into the sense of trying to help because sometimes that can suffocate someone, make them feel pressured to uh, try and force themselves to be better or get better or even can put people into a thing of, if you are trying to help too much and like struggling with that uh, and someone notices that you're struggling to help and balance their own mental health, they'll kind of withdraw themselves. So it's just... It's it's a tough one because it's depending on what someone has or like the type of person they are. Because I know a lot of introverted people who, if you approach them about it, it would be like talking to a brick wall. The best thing you can do for them is just be there for them, like check up on them, just saying how are you doing, is everything all right? And if they don't want to talk about it, don't make them talk about it, but just let them know that you're there to talk to them about it. Thank you, Danny. Thank you. Cheers, man.